Laser Green family and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time watching, my name is Liz and I'm so glad to have you join me today. You are watching the Heaven's Pearls collaboration which is entitled the Mayflowers collaboration. This is our May collaboration and we are continuing with the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Today I'm going to talk to you guys just a little bit on wisdom. I won't be doing any home decor. Uh, if you know me, if you know what's going on with my uh, family situation, you know we are in transition to uh, trying to find somewhere to live. So I don't have any uh, thing to decorate. Everything is put away in store. So you're just going to have to accept me like this. And I hope that's okay. Thank you so much for understanding. First of all, like I said, I'm going to speak to you just a little bit on wisdom and give you guys some key points and maybe a few examples of the importance of wisdom. But before that, let me introduce you to the Heaven's Pearls, Tablescapes by Candy, Creations by Simone, the Grace Life Home Decor, Debbie Bubbles, and myself decorating with Jazzy Green. We have a scripture reference and I'm using 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 1 through 12. Now wisdom. Wisdom is very, very important. Okay? Uh, the book of Proverbs really speaks about wisdom. There's also Ecclesiastes and the book of Job. But I'm going to concentrate more on Proverbs. Proverbs is one of my favorite books. I also like Psalm, but Proverbs, Proverbs would be my second uh, favorite book, but Psalms would be number one. But since wisdom talks about it in Proverbs, we're going to talk about Proverbs, okay? Number one, Proverbs chapter four, verse seven says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all you're getting, get understanding. Yes, wisdom is the principal thing. I tell you, if we don't have wisdom, if we're not able to make uh, good decisions about our lives, our family, just everything, you know, with your uh, relationships, with your finances, with your health, if you don't have wisdom and knowledge, you won't be able to make these decisions well at all. Isaiah 11 verse 1 and 2 says, And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Chapter 2 says, And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom, there we go, wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And shall make him a quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. Wisdom is so, so important, you guys. Like I said, wisdom is the ability to be able to make the right decisions for your life, your family, and everything. Okay, the three books of wisdom literature in the Bible are Proverbs, e Ecclesiastes, it's hard to say that, and the book of Job. Those are the wisdom literature books. Proverbs tackles and teaches of spirituality, life, work, relationships, and I just said that already, family guides you and shows you how to live, how to make godly and wise decisions. Wise people tend to live better lives. When you have wisdom and make those right decisions, they do. They live better lives. And when you don't have wisdom or operate in wisdom, you can live a really bad life, make poor choices. And we see that all around us in the world, people, you know, fighting one another, people opening up doors in the um, airplane, people just killing one another, 
Those are bad decisions. Now, if they had wisdom or if they were operating in the gift of wisdom, then they wouldn't be making these decisions. But, you know, you have to renew your mind with the Word of God. And the only way to renew your mind with the Word of God and operate in wisdom is to know Jesus, first of all, as your Lord and Savior. Okay? And then you must get in that Bible and learn. Read. Study the Word of God. Okay? Learn the Word of God. Get in a church that teaches the Bible-based principles. And, you know, just learn, learn, learn so that you can get wisdom. Okay? Okay? The Bible is the best book that you can get wisdom from and to learn about how to live a good life, okay? So, let's see. So, you must have wisdom to be able to live a really, really good life and to make the proper decisions. Let me give you an example. Well, before I do that, let me continue with these verses. Because I have a few examples that are coming off the top of my head about wisdom. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 2 and 3 says, To know wisdom, instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom. So you got to know wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 1, verse 5 says, A wise man will hear and will increase learning. Okay? So you got to hear as well as read. That will increase your learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. You know, there are a lot of scriptures that I could really point out to you. Um, but for the sake of time, I don't have a lot of time to spend on that. Read the book of Proverbs and you hopefully you will get a better understanding of wisdom. You can even Google wis- wisdom, okay, just to learn more about it. Um, the last chapter that I'm going to share with you today is Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 that says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge this is my favorite one but fools despise wisdom and instruction now this verse I'll read it one more time the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction now that part where it says but fools despise wisdom and instruction it just goes to show you, just like I just said, about how people are making these bad decisions, doing bad things in this world. You know, we are truly in the end times. Whether you want to believe it or not, we are truly living the end times of this world, okay? Um, I won't get too into that because I'll be going in for another 10, 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> But uh, wisdom is very, very important. And my grandfather, when he was alive, he used to always talk about wisdom. And me being a youngster, I was like, what are you talking about? I used to call him Papa. And he used to always just talk about, you know, do things with knowledge. And now I understand what he meant. But during, you know, as a child, I didn't understand what he meant by wisdom. You know, and I can't remember off the top of my head if he would explain it in detail, but now I know. Also, my mother, she's always talked about wisdom. You know, don't do things if you don't have wisdom, because having wisdom will give you the knowledge to make the right decisions in your situations. Um... This one example I'm going to tell you about. I'm going to share this with you. Um, When me and my daughter were going down to L.A., because I live in California, if you didn't know, um, I I used to run the marathon, Los Angeles Marathon. And I was going down there. I was going to take her um, to stay with somebody, and I was going to go ahead and go ahead and do my thing. And that particular morning, it was raining so heavily. I mean, really, really bad where it wasn't really that smart to be going anywhere. I mean, very, very heavy, heavy, heavy rain. And I was thinking to myself, well, why should I let rain stop me? It's just rain. 
people drive in the rain all the time. Yes, they do. But the key is my mother, the night before, she kept feeling that we shouldn't go. She had this real heavy feeling. Just It was really gnawing on her and gnawing on her. She couldn't explain it. She says, Liz, I just don't know. I just think that you guys should not go. And she ached and ached about it pretty much the whole night. Well, I went. Me and my daughter, we never made it to our destination. Okay, this is what happened. There was an 18-wheeler driving behind me. The thing that happened was I proceeded to get into a lane, but there really wasn't a lane. It was gravel dirt. And if you know... I know you'll comment down below and tell me what you think I'm about to say. Yes, my car hydroplane. And the car was going everywhere but straight. The axle of the steering wheel, which is out of control, it was beyond control, okay? And I could not control it. So the car was going back and forth, up and down, all across the the freeway and I knew that we were in danger and I shouted out Jesus I did because I needed help well we were about to go over the cliff and I proceeded to pit, pull up the emergency brake to stop the car from us going over and I know God did that my angels protected me and my daughter and I turned to my left this way to look and there was an 18 wheeling which I didn't know it was an 18-wheeler, but it was a truck. He was coming, so I did like this. And I closed my eyes real tight, and I just held on because I knew he was going to hit us. It was a matter of seconds. My daughter, who was in the back of the car, not this car, she was just looking around, looking around, didn't know what was happening, and I couldn't talk or tell her, uh, brace herself. I couldn't say anything like that. So we were hit. And I, of course, had to go to the hospital, and the ambulance came, the EMTs came, the fire department, everybody came. But to make a long story short, what did I learn from that? Wisdom. If I had listened to wisdom, my mother was feeling what she felt. That was wisdom trying to alert me. God used her, and she had the unction to tell me what she was feeling wisdom would not have gone if I had been operating in wisdom and understanding yes we know people drive the freeway but wisdom dictates and I did not operate in wisdom that day and I felt really really bad and to this day as I'm talking about now it doesn't make me feel good but I learned from that and I said never again Will I ever do something like that? Especially if somebody tells me, I don't think you should go. And I don't know why. I better listen. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Think on that. Think about some areas in your life where you might not have used wisdom. I mean, we all make mistakes. It doesn't mean we're bad people. I made a bad judgment that could have cost my life and my daughter's life. And that's just not good. But, hey, there's always forgiveness. God's forgiven me. Um, I've forgiven myself, you know. But use wisdom. Learn wisdom. To Learn about Proverbs, first of all. Okay? Because that book really teaches you a lot about wisdom. All right. That's, I'm going to stop now, you guys. Um, I really hope you got something from this, even if it's just a little bit. If I have more time, I will keep going on, but I can't. But anyway, I thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this video. If you have not yet joined the Jazzy Green family, I would invite you to hit that subscribe button. Click the bell so that you will be notified of all of my videos and you won't miss any of them. And I appreciate you and welcome to the family. And please, guys, go visit all of the Heaven's Pearls channels and hopefully subscribe to their channels and watch the playlist. Thank you so much for watching. You guys take care. You be blessed. 
And I hope that I have shared something valuable to you and you got something from it. Love you all. Bye-bye.